This is Don D. Bartolo, a broker with Daniels Trading, and in this video, I'm going to instruct you on how to place option orders through your broker. I have included a trading ticket to provide you a visual to follow along. If you have not viewed the video on placing futures orders through your broker, I do suggest doing so. Many of the same principles that apply to placing a futures order will apply to placing an options order. Let's get started. The first piece of information you want to provide your broker is your specific trading account number. This trading account number was assigned and provided to you when you first opened your account with Daniels Trading. This trading account number can be a series of letters or numbers. That just depends on the clearing arrangement. So Mr. Broker, I have an order, but first, my account number is ZYX54321. By providing this trading account number, it will ensure that your trade indeed ends up in your individual trading account. Now let's move on to the trade itself. Traders and brokers all around the world use a common language and set of symbols in order to trade in these markets quickly and efficiently. You'll first want to specify to your broker if it's a buy or sell order. If it's a buy order, you will be purchasing options. If it's a sell order, you will be writing options. For this example, we will be purchasing options. Please note, if you are already long options and you go to sell them, you are not writing options but liquidating a current position. Next is one of two key elements to a trade. Quantity. You want to specify to your broker how many contracts you will be trading. For this example, we will be purchasing three contracts. Next, you'll want to specify the futures contract and the month and year that you will be trading. For this example, the underlying futures contract is sugar, and we are trading the March 08 contract. So Mr. Broker, buy three March 08 sugar. Next, you'll want to specify the strike price at which you will be trading. For this example, we will be trading the 1200 strike. Then you want to specify if it's a call or put. And for this example, it will be a call. So Mr. Broker, buy three March 08 sugar 1200 calls. Now calls will be used if you are bullish on the underlying futures contract while puts will be used if you are bearish on the underlying futures contract. Next is the second key element to a trade, price. You want to specify at which price you want to purchase the option. Price is also known as premium. If you are unconcerned with the premium you'll pay for the option, you can use a market order. Mr. Broker, buy three March 08 Sugar 1200 calls at market. Or if you do want to specify your premium, and for this example, we will use 10 cents, and the order type will be a limit order, since stop orders are not accepted in the options market. This order will read as Mr. Broker, buy three March 08 Sugar 1200 calls at 10 cents on a limit. To determine the cost in dollar amount that this premium will cost you, you would multiply our 10 cent premium times the underlying futures tick value, which for the sugar market is $11.20 per tick movement. That would equal $112 per option. And for this example, we are purchasing three so the total cost, not including commissions and fees, would be $336 in premium. And finally, you'll want to specify to your broker the duration of the trade, whether it's a day order or a go-till canceled order. A day order will read as, Mr. Broker, buy three March 08 Sugar 1200 calls, 10 cents on a limit, day order only. Or, Mr. Broker, 
buy three, March 08, sugar, 1,200 calls, 10 cents on a limit, good till canceled. Remember, a day order works only for that trading session and is either filled or expires at the end of the day. And it also will not be working for subsequent sessions. A good toll canceled order is a working order until the order is filled or canceled by you, the client. Well, I hope this video was insightful on placing option orders through your broker. A benefit of a broker is a second set of eyes and ears taking and executing.